Bonjour, c'est Renaud de cours de golf.net. Bienvenue dans cette nouvelle vidéo encore un peu particulière. Si vous aviez déjà vu la première interview de Dame Laura Davis, eh bien, j'ai eu également une interview exclusive avec euh, Bernard Langer. Bernard Langer, si vous ne le connaissez pas ou mal, c'est la plus grande carrière, la plus longue carrière professionnelle dans l'histoire du golf. Il a gagné sur 6 décennies, 50 ans de carrière, 120 victoires individuelles, plus de 43, je crois, victoires sur l'European Tour, plus de 45 victoires sur le Champions Tour, le, le Tour Senior américain, deux victoires au Master d'Augusta, euh, 10 sélections en Ryder Cup, une Ryder Cup en tant que capitaine. Bref, c'est une véritable légende européenne, c'est la légende européenne. Moi, la première fois que j'ai vu jouer, je devais avoir 16 ou 17 ans dans les années 80 au Trophée Lancôme. Et j'ai eu la chance de le rencontrer aux practices de Quinta do Lago pour le One Greenway Programme. Dans cette vidéo, il va nous livrer les, les bases qu'il a toujours euh, appliquées dans son propre jeu et qu'il veut voir chez tous les joueurs qu'il rencontre, y compris débutants, amateurs. Et euh, il va nous donner également euh, sa méthode pour faire différentes trajectoires sans changer de swing, juste en changeant la position de départ. Et également, il va vous donner trois euh, tips, trois trucs pour euh, gagner en distance sans nécessairement améliorer votre physique ou améliorer votre swing. Je vous laisse tout de suite en compagnie de Bernard Langer sur le practice de Quinta Dolores. Hello, this is Reno. Welcome on this video. I'm here in south of Portugal in um, Quinta do Lago for the Invitational One Greenway Pro-Am and I'm, I'm very happy to talk with Mr. Bernard Langer today. So Bernard, I think we can say you're, you're one of the most, you have the most lo longer uh, career in a professional Yeah, I've been very blessed to have been a uh, pro now for 50 years, yeah. 50 I years. I started when I was 15, now I'm 65, so. Oh, you, you've been 15 or 16 when you started? 15, I was a teaching pro for three years and then uh, playing pro since I was 18. So that means you turn in, in 72 or 72? 72 I turned teaching pro and 76 I became a playing pro here yeah, on the European Tour. And then a lot of success. I think you, you won pretty earlier on the Tour. You yeah, it's been uh, yeah, six decades, I think. I won in the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010 and 220. So <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, You're still yeah. winning on uh, Senior Tour for sure. Yeah. And still very good appearance and even do, do you play still on a PGA Tour or Major like uh, the, the Master? Did you play the last I'll one? I play the Masters yeah every year. You still? Yeah. And you still make a lot of cuts there and uh, and now you, you, you can still fight against young men. Like the, the yeah it's, it's become very difficult the Masters because it's very long it's 7500 yards almost 7600 yards uh, very, plays very long for me. I'm 65 years old, so I'm starting to hit the ball a little shorter, and they all hit it 300 plus. So, so how, how, can you realize how, how, how many percent of distance you lose, like every year or every two years? No, uh, not every year. Like I didn't lose any till I was about 60, mm -hmm. and then the last four or five years I lost about um, five percent, I think. Yeah, and so I'm very interested to to ask you some questions. But for most of people who are watching us, you, they, they start playing golf a lot of time after mm -hmm. 60. And do, do you have some advices? What's the most frequent advice you give to, to people who can maybe see on proms or in clubs? And what, what kind of well, advice? Well, often it's often the same mistakes or problems people make. Uh, they have to be focusing on the foundation, on the basics, basics. grip, stance, Posture. ball position and then the swing plane those are the basics for me uh, and then short game is very important you got to be a decent chipper and putter and bunker player and uh, you know that's where they are very poor many amateurs uh, are not very good in the short game so they, they don't trust the loft of the club they want they, to they're always it trying to help it up yeah. so when they have a chip or a pitch it's always like like this instead of a descending yeah. blow so um, and putting is the same, you know, many three putts and yeah. so they could save a lot of strokes if they would work on the short game with a coach, help them to get better technique, they, they play too gain much more on confidence. Range, I think so, yeah. most people. That's true. 100%. And then uh, even on the driving range, they just, you know, they're interested in all sorts of little well, things. What does my thumb do? What does my little pinky do? It's not important. And they lost, you think most of it's, people lost, so that's what we see. Many it's, people it's believe a, there is a kind of secret somewhere. And when I know the secret, I will play like Bernard yeah. Langer. Well, many of them think if they would play more, they would be a lot better. But that's not true. Yeah. 
Uh, if, you if you play you more, play, you just make the same mistakes things. more often. And you may become a little more consistent, but you're not going to improve a lot. Yeah. You're going to improve a lot by having a good technique and a proper understanding of the, what you're trying to do and have a good short game. So okay, can you talk like in a few words, what's the basics you really want to see? And, and uh, like not beginners, but maybe... Yeah, I mean, I have, a, nine, I have a 99, so the basics obviously starts with the grip. Yeah. You want your hands to work together, not not like this. That's too strong. And not like that, you really? know, and not like this or like that. I think I always say ideally is you put your hands together, you slide the right hand down mm -hmm. and you grip it. And I like to think I see about two knuckles on my left. Mm -hmm. And when I put my right hand where this thumb fits in here. You're overlapping. That's I'm overla over, yeah, lapping. So... You can see like a V, it looks like a V. Yeah. If you take the middle of the V, it should point between the chin and the right shoulder. Yeah. So that, would be, strong grip, that, that would be a proper grip, okay? What I consider proper and grip. What, what about the pressure of the grip? Very light, you don't need to grip it. Hello. You don't need to grip it hard because if you grip it too you firm, <laughs> uh, if you grip it too firm, you're only gonna lose distance. Mm. Uh, club is not heavy, you don't have to, everything. Swing. Yeah, that means even the filling through the swing need to... to always light. light, everything. Can you... Can Chipping, you? putting, driver, you always grip it light. So then with the short irons, I have the ball more or less in the middle of my stance and uh, just try to make a full turn, whatever that is. You know, some people turn this far, some people turn this far. Yeah. Always make a full turn because that's something you can repeat. Uh, everything else is hard to repeat. So I make a full turn back and then accelerate through. Yeah. And I like to stay in balance because most and people, to, when to, most people they get to here and then they, they hit from the top and just, they lose just power. We're talking about turning and I've seen something that I think it's very interesting for people because most of people wants to turn the shoulder but feel a kind of <clears> pain in the back and they feel stiff. And you did something like, like moving the left foot? Uh, I don't move my left foot much, but I, I am a strong believer in turning my hip. So if, you, if I would only turn my shoulders with no hip turn, watch this. That's, where, that's as far as I can turn. It doesn't go further, right? But now as I turn my hip, I go a lot further. So I think I can go about 90 degrees shoulder turn or 85 it's from the hip. With about a 45 degree hip. No, it's not from the hip, not no. From. But the hip has to, the hip is attached to my to torso. It. I can't turn one part without the other. That, that's right. It's so a, it's connected. Yeah. That's why I, I showed that. So my, my hip is turning 45 degrees, my shoulders 90 degrees. And the same going forward when I'm here, the, the knees and the hips start and the arms and the shoulders follow. And then I shift my weight. So my feet are going inside, inside. That's yeah. the idea. That's the idea. And I, it's like I'm in a, what do you call it? In a round cylinder. I mean, you, no slide? Right. There's no, not, no sliding this way, no sliding this way. I'm in a cylinder and I'm just, if you look at me this way, I'm just turning around my spine mm -hmm. this way. And if you look at me this way, same thing. I'm turning around my spine. Yeah. I don't go down. I don't go up. I come up after impact. This is impact. Yeah. Then you and can then come up, but not you, before. You feel Lot. more that the body rotation is one of the major technical... For me it is. Because if I rotate in the spine angle, I make better contact. I hit the ball right here. And that's where you want to hit it. When if I if I come up like I see a lot of people do this, they come up. Yeah. You hit it on the toe. Mm. You lose distance and accuracy. And opposite of this would be. Well, if you go, down. not many go down, but some do. Then you stick it in the ground. So. Mm. Not to, to materialize the the, the the angle of attack. Maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Well, if I. If I stay in my angle, in my spine angle, my hands are a little closer to the body. If this goes forward and I come up, see my hands go very high, mm. and I hit it more on the toe. Mm. I don't want to hit on the toe. I want to stay in my angle. 
and turn through. So I make better contact. Yeah, you're more centered. Yep. And if you hit it more centered, it goes further and it goes straighter. And you, you think most people want to move too much, maybe a fall? Well, everybody is different. They don't yeah. want to move, but they do. Many of them do. Yeah. Many of them do a reverse pivot in English. So what the reverse pivot is, they're on the left side. Now they can't shift their weight. They, look, they fall over. So they don't do that. They now go back to the right leg. Yeah. And then they finish like this. Yeah. That's a reverse, reverse and then weight shift. The weight and the you lose a lot of distance yeah. and you're never going to be accurate either. Mm -hmm. So you don't want a reverse weight shift. You want to turn, like I said, in the cylinder. So on the backswing, your weight is on the inside of your right foot. And then you turn and you finish up on the inside of your left foot. That's good for but it's hands. not a sway, you know. Mm. Montgomery sways a bit. He does a bit of this. But, but he's perfected it. Yeah, you know how to do that. Uh, yeah. I don't recommend that for the average guy. Yeah. I think it's much easier to just turn within, just turn around your spine mm. without shifting your spine. I think that's a good visual, like I yeah, said. I think it's this, a is, this is the center of my body, my spine. Yeah. So I just turn back and turn through. Turn back, turn through. And the same on this angle, this is my spine turn back and turn through without doing this and without doing that with my spine. Yeah. Some people that are, you know, they, they go like this. Yeah, and then they lose that. There's no, rotation. yeah. There's, no way to, to, to come back. It's no way to, to uh, repeat, you know. Every swing is different. And with the short irons, you want to have a little bit of a descending blow. So you make good contact and you can compress the golf ball. And with the driver, obviously you tee it up, you move more forward, so you swing so up on the ball. To be sure to, to take what can help people who wants to pick up the ball, is the center of the body have an important situation comparing up the ball? I mean, so maybe if I'm like this, or like, we all know that driver should be more like this, I mean, ball on the Yeah, ball not that much. I not don't think so. On, on not, never like this, no, you can't similar. play golf like this. I think it's only if this is my head, if this is straight, right? I think two or three degrees. No more. Not more. And the ball left of the middle. Well, the with the driver, you move it up to the left heel. So uh, that, uh, that by itself, if my ball position is forward, let mm. me have the driver. So the ball position now is not, not here anymore in the middle. It's forward left, inside left and, foot. and my spine is two or three degrees to the right and because of that I'm already swinging up on the ball and not down on the ball so it's all by the address position you shouldn't have to change your swing you just address the ball appropriately And it's the same swing. I still turn and turn and stay my You angles. feel the same swing between iron and, and yep. driver? It's just yep. different setup, but same swing. Exactly. Different setup, different ball position. Obviously, longer clubs, so I'm a little further away. But the swing itself doesn't change. Even for a hook, if I want to hit a hook, I don't change my swing. I just close the club face. Only? So I close the club face. The same I, aiming on your feet? Huh? You aim the feet the same way? Well, I aim the feet where I want the ball to start, mm -hmm. to the right, but the club face is closed, close bit, yeah. and that creates a hook spin. Mm. And if I want to slice a fade, I aim a little left and open the club face, and it creates a slice spin. Nice but it's the same swing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I can hit, I hit one hook, story. and then a slice, and the swing should be the same. That's the hook, right? Yeah. It's more like a draw, actually. Well, it the depends. Hook. That was moving 10, 15 yards. And here's a left to right, so the club face is open, but it's the same swing. Yeah, light, light slice. Well, Let's go that way. So play, just, yeah. I don't change my when, swing. When you I open just or close, do you open like opening like this, or you just make the before? Grip no, only the club. I don't grip it Different. and then open it, that would not be good. Because then I come back like yeah. that. I open it and then grip it 
or I close it and then grip it. Man, always same grip, finally. Same yep. grip, but same, grip same, different. same swing. I have a, maybe one more question about your swing, because as you know, I saw you all my generation, saw you for years, and I've seen those last year, you, you interrupt a little bit more your finish here. Is that with the age you decided to, to finish less like you did? Well, I'm less, I'm less flexible. So my stiff has, my back has become stiff and degenerative. Mm -hmm. Everything is a little less flexible. So when you're young, yeah. you can tell my backswing now. Now my backswing is yeah, here. Sure. When I was young, I was there. So there's less flexibility. And when I was young, my follow through was yeah. like this. Now my follow through is, yeah. you know, it's everything. But, I mean, that's very Everything is less. For sure, but it's very interesting because I, I truly believe people who, who get your age, for example, who start playing golf, the, most of them watching Rory, Dustin, Tiger, for trying to do a proper techniques. But I always say... They should be watching the Champions Tour, yeah, not, the, not even, the Young even the Tour. the swing, like Bobby Jones, when, when they had 30, it was more like um, uh, relax and more rhythm, not that much into tensions and that, that's why it's, it's very interesting for, for everyone who watches Well, uh, you know, a 60-year-old cannot swing like Rory yeah. or any yeah. other 20-year-olds. And that's, that's, that's finish here. I feel that your turn, it's still a finish, but it's not like full extension explosion. And that means you focus maybe more just... No, to me it's a full extension and explosion. If you slow down my swing... I will. You will see that I'm fully extended here and it's still as explosive as I can be at my age. Yeah, sure. So yeah. I'm swinging maybe 100, my ball speed is 150 mile an hour. Yeah. Uh, that's the most I can do, while but, the young guys have 200 or 180 straight. or whatever. Is, is the, is the direction is one of your well, Hopefully straight, yeah. And when you're short, you have to be straight. <laughs> <laughs> sure. And the last question is, what, what a good advice you think for people who watch us to, to try to increase the power with no putting their own body into danger of being hurt? Like how can I increase the speed but not, not the power or not the pain? Well, you hit the ball further. The idea is to hit it as far as you can. There's several things. You hit it further by number one, hitting it in the sweet spot. Sweet spot yeah. As soon as you miss the sweet spot, you lose 20, 25, 30%. a lot of distance, mm -hmm. okay? Secondly, um, you know, a bigger turn, bigger arc creates more speed. So if you're tall, 6'4", you're going to hit it further than that's somebody that's 5'4", yeah. because it's so just how it is, you know? Maybe. So, and then you need some resistance, like we said. I turn yeah. my upper body against my lower body, I create some... Yeah, resistance and then I let so the it. resistance is more on the on the legs or yeah it's it's from the lower body to the upper body so like I told you my upper body turns this far my lower body doesn't turn this far my lower body turns this far yeah. so there's a resistance and, this, this, and, a, this, uh, and a twist yeah, and then the other thing is this angle if you can retain this angle longer you're gonna get that whip effect yeah. down there whip with the if, light grip if you do this yeah. Yeah, that's you're already fast here and you're slowing down. Okay. So those are some things to get more speed. Obviously, if you're strong and if you're flexible, you will have more. That's even more. Sure. Thank you. Anyway, you're welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm super glad that you talked to me and in yeah. front of this camera. Pleasure. Good Thank luck. Very much. Enjoy the game. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. All the best. You want to take this so I don't sure. run off with it? Do you know that I used to be the head pro of Batman Golf and Country Club for eight uh, years? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that.